All right, so we're naming an angle or angles, meaning if there's more than one answer, we need to name them all. Uh, in the diagram described by each of the following. So let's take a look at this first one, number 11, supplementary to AOD. Well, AOD is right here. Let's see if I can use my line tool to sketch this out. That is that angle right there, right? So in order to be supplementary, uh, one way that we could find out would be, does it form a linear pair? So um, one other angle that completes that 180 degree rotation would be this angle right here, okay? Those together then will carve out this full 180 degrees around the vertex point, okay? So what is that angle? Well, we could call that angle, uh, and actually I'll do it in green so that you can see it, angle AOB, okay? But also we could say, um, what if instead of going to complete that 180 degrees that way, we went that way, and that was the 180 degrees. Okay, there's another angle in here, and that is this angle in orange. That then completes that 180 degrees, that straight angle the other way. What do we call that one? We could call that one angle DOC. So you want to have both of those answers because both of them actually will sum with angle AOD to be 180, therefore be supplementary. Okay? So let me get this, erase these marks. Okay, so moving on. Uh, supplementary number 13, and I'm getting these marks out of here, but um, supplementary to angle EOA. Um, so once I get rid of these marks, I'm going to trace EOA out, and you can already see it. Um, let's see. EOA is here. Okay. And when we want an angle supplementary to it, we don't want to have multiple angles adding together to, um, to make the 180 degrees. We want to have one other angle that does it. So... Um, the only thing that I can see here is to go that way right there with, uh, to make that full angle. So um, that's our 180 degrees if that's the linear pair. And then what is going to go along with that pink angle that I did uh, EOA in order to complete that? Well, let's take a look. Uh, if we were to trace this out, um, in, well, we traced out in pink that angle, and we want to complete that full 180 degree rotation, then this angle right here, which we would call angle, you could call it either angle EOC, or you can call it uh, angle COE, right, as long as O is the vertex point. Uh, that's what's going to complete this full 180 degree rotation there, make that linear pair. And with supplementary angles, you don't want to have multiple angles. You don't want to name uh, like this angle and this angle is saying those two are supplementary. Those two make that angle. And that's, that's the angle you want to name. There's just going to be one angle that's going to be a supplementary with another because we're talking about pairs of angles here. I'm going to erase these marks and let's do this last one. Okay, so a pair of vertical angles. Well, vertical angles are formed when you draw two straight lines. And uh, I'm going to draw two straight lines here. I'm going to draw this line right here. And I'm going to draw this line right here. Okay, and where are the vertical angles that they form? Well, we've got a pair of vertical angles forming right here. Right. What are those angles? Well, we could say angle AOD. That's this angle, A to O to D. And 
angle. B O C, which is this angle. Okay, that and that, they are uh, forming those vertical angles. And now we could also name a second pair. I'm going to erase those marks, and I'm going to just say from those two lines, uh, we also have this pair here and here because. Anytime you have two lines crossing each other, you're going to get two pairs of vertical angles. So how do we name that top angle? You could name it angle AOB. And that bottom angle, angle DOC as well. Okay, Those two form another pair of vertical angles. So if you had either one of these answers, if you had either this answer or this answer, you can mark it as correct. But hopefully you can see them both. Uh, same thing for number 11. If you could see that that one is supplementary to angle AOD, great. You can mark it as correct. If you saw this one, great. You can mark that correct. But if you were able to identify them both, that's excellent that you can see those as both being proper answers there. Okay? So uh, that's how we do it, and hope that makes sense.